Florida at the moment has been going through absolute hell. Just over like the past two weeks, they have been hit now with two hurricanes. First, it was Hurricane Helene, and then just like about a day ago, or maybe like, you know, in the past 12 hours, by the time you're seeing this video, they have been hit with now, what was it? Uh, Hurricane Milton? Milton. Hurricane Milton. And it is obviously an extremely detrimental time. It's sad. You know, so many people have lost homes. Some people have lost their lives. But in this video, I want to point out and made a make a video about something more enlightening. As whenever there is shadow, whenever there is darkness, there is always a light to light up that darkness to make it a better time. And what has made all of this, like this devastating thing, like more entertaining and more like, you know, actually bring out a light to this situation is Lieutenant Dan. If you don't know who this guy is, he went extremely viral just like over the, mainly over the last few days like it, it like he has been around since the first hurricane hurricane helene but i have at least me personally i haven't really seen about anything about him until over the last couple of days where this tiktok that i'm about to show now went extremely viral while these hurricanes were going on instead of evacuating like he was like the city has suggested he instead bunkered down in his boat during the hurricane in the middle of it all all right dan the people that are new explain to them why you're deciding to stick out a category five one of the worst hurricanes in tampa history out on a 20-foot sailboat in tampa harbor my faith in god i don't want my faith in man um god told me to come out here and get a boat i came out here and got a boat and everything that he's been telling me over the last two days is I'm doing the right thing. He's got my back. I'm in good shape. I ain't sweating it. Um, we're going to ride this one out. We got set up the way we know what we're doing. And as long as the water just keeps rising, we'll be fine. Will you be wearing a life jacket? Hell no. <laughs> Are you going to be able to swim if it, if it need be? In circles. <laughs> can you swim with one leg or what? Yeah, I can float like a damn champ. But swimming, I just go in circles. So the plan's just to stick it out here? Yeah. I mean, the water's going to come in. It's going to rise. If you're on land, it's going to flood. You're risking drowning. I'm in a boat. The boat goes up with the water. So even if the boat goes up 100 feet in the air, I'm going to be up 100 feet in the air with the water. So it's really the safest place in the world to be is on my boat. And I got room for one more female. <laughs> Give the people some words of wisdom out there. Uh, listen, just, you know what to do. Just be safe. Um, don't do stupid shit, and we'll all be all right. We'll be here, you know, we'll be here tomorrow and the day after. Perfect, man. Let's go one day at a time. Let's do it. All right. This man right here is an absolute legend. Now, I don't know too much, many details about this man. I'm guessing that he was in the military, considering his name is Lieutenant Dan, or he's some kind of, like, official where he's gotten that title, or I don't know if that's just what people have been calling him, but this guy is like, you know where you see the meme of Florida man? He is the ultimate Florida man. And since like he started to go viral, there has been so many updates and so many new videos that have come out about this guy. Like during the, after the first hurricane went out, there were like updates about how his boat was doing. People were like constantly checking up a bit on him as well, just to make sure that this guy is fine. I mean, even though yes, the water does rise during a hurricane. If you're on a boat, the water, you're just gonna rise at the water. But like hurricane it's not just about the flooding as well. It's about the extreme winds where your boat could be capsized at any time, even if it's tied down to something. It could be flown out. It could the ropes could like uh, uh, like break, and you could be flown away from this hurricane. Like if you haven't seen some of the footage from Hurricane Milton, uh, or, or like Milton or Helene, either one, you should see it. It's unbelievable of like how devastating and how strong some of these winds are like it's crazy so i mean i'm so glad that there have been people who have been checking up on this guy because i saw this video and this is his boat during the recent hurricane during hurricane milton like while he was in the middle of it this is his boat this man is in that boat during the hurricane like it's not like this is all for joe no that man is right in that boat when it was going on i mean look how i mean even though this guy has some balls like some absolute 
massive kahunas. It's, I just, I can't fathom being in that. There is no way in hell you could put me out there. Unless you're paying me like a hundred grand minimum, then I'd be like, you know what, I do. But even then, I'd be so hesitant. Because like I said, even though the water's rising and all that kind of stuff, just seeing how badly his ship is moving around and considering the size of it, like this is like a dingy little ship. It's shit. Let's be honest. It's not like it's sucking all that great. No, it's terrible. It's small. I mean, this guy could have easily died, but man, he was so chill about things. And even after Hurricane Milton, when people checked up on him, I mean, he was like in the chillest mood ever. Like he couldn't care less. How's the ride? The water's Yeah, it's, it's going out into the water. It's going out being pulled out. Yeah, it's safe. It's safe right there. How are you doing? No problem. Was it as bad as you thought? No. Is the water coming back in or still going out? It's going out. Alright, I gotta go. Alright, you hang in there. Alright, you guys in shape. I'll see you tomorrow. You too. Dude doesn't even give, he's just like, oh, the water's gone. Yeah, you know what? That's ah, fine. I knew this was gonna happen. Like, I knew I'd be fine. He, he didn't give a fuck. What a G. Like, this is the epitome of, he is by far one of the greatest Florida men I've ever seen. Like, we see a lot of Florida men over the time. Like, listen, you search up Florida man, you're gonna find, so you're gonna find a million and one results of all these type of people from Florida doing whack stuff. But one of the great things that has actually come out about all of this is that he actually appeared on Aiden Ross's stream. That's right, Aiden Ross got him on his stream and actually said, Aiden Ross said that he's going to give this guy, he's gonna give Lieutenant Dan a new boat and his own kick deal. We uh we were able to come up. I, I'm gonna be able to pay for a boat for you. We're gonna get you a nice boat um, in the range of fifty to hundred thousand um, dollars, and we're gonna get you a full time kick deal which is a live streaming deal where you can stream your entire voyages and all your adventures. Um, and you could be, have a passive income come in. Um, and you're going to be, uh, yeah, you're going to have a kick deal, man, a live streaming deal. So you could live stream and connect with uh, fans all over the world and they could really see your adventure, man. Wow. <clears throat> I, um, thank you. It's going to be insane. I mean that for him, but I don't know what else to say other than thank you. Um, and bless you all. Just within a few days, this man has become an internet legend. And you know what? He deserves it. This guy seems, he, he like, let's be honest, he seems like he's had a bit of a rough life. The guy doesn't seem, you know, like you can kind of tell when you look at someone, where it's like, man, this guy's been through it all. He's also missing a leg. Um, I don't know if any of the videos that like I, I have um, necessarily show, but he is missing, like, I can't remember which leg it is, but one of his legs is pretty much gone. Like it's a right, like pretty much like a right above the knee, or I think it's below the knee actually, where he is missing like he's he, like a big portion of his leg as well. So he's definitely gone through some rough stuff considering that, you know, I'm guessing he, he was in the army and the military at some point. And now he's like lost his leg. He's probably like, you know, like what sane person would be out on a boat during a hurricane? No one. No sane person whatsoever. So it's good that something good has come to this man. He absolutely fucking deserves it. I'm glad that he's going to get his own boat. He's going to be getting his own kick deal as well. We get to see the, the adventures of Lieutenant Dan in his new boat. It's going to be absolutely great. But man, he is by far one of the greatest Florida men that I've ever seen. I, like This is one of the positive things that have come out about this hurricane. Like I said, my, my hearts go out to all the families who have like lost their homes, lost family members and all that kind of stuff. But... Wherever there's darkness, there's always a little bit of light. And Lieutenant Dan has been that light for all of us. But that's going to be it for me. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Let me know what you think about all this down below. Peace out.